So now we're going to have a look at low end focus. Now this is one of the brand new modules in Ozone 9 and it's amazing. It allows you to transparently change the balance of your low end, especially the relationship between the bass and the kick or the transient information and the sustain information. Think of the bass doesn't have huge amounts of transients normally, whereas the kick drum is largely made of a transient then with a tail. So if we don't have enough kick, we can actually bring that kick out, bring the low end of that kick out. Or if we don't have enough bass, we have the opposite problem. We can use low end focus to boost the bass and attenuate the transient information or the kick information. So for this example, we're going to be using a trap tune that was made for the You Produce Trap series on Groove Thief. So head over and have a look at that if you're interested in this track. Now I've created a situation where there's a problem in the mix that wasn't actually there originally to enable me to demonstrate this. I've kind of created a little bit of an imbalance between the kick and the bass. Now it's not dreadful, but remember that transient information and volume allow us to determine how close or far away something is and in this example the kick feels a bit distant and the bass feels a bit forward. So it feels like the bass is sitting in front of the kick. So let's try and bring the kick out a little bit more. So we've got this low end focus plugin loaded on here. Now first of all we can choose the boundaries that we're going to work with. So we can go up to 300 hertz. And then we can kind of drag that up and down. We can also determine how low we want to go. I'm going to leave that. I'll leave it actually the full extension of that area. Now next up we have this area down here. Punchy is more aggressive. Smooth, as you'd probably guess from the name, is a bit smoother. So punchy is a bit more exaggerated. Now the contrast slider, this is going to allow us to choose whether we're going to boost and bring out transient information or attenuate or turn down transient information and bring out more sustain information. So this is going to bring out the transients, make our mix punchier, and going this way is going to remove the transients and make it less punchy, more saturated, more compressed sounding. So we know that the problem is the kick is not loud enough and the bass is too loud, so we're going to want to go in this direction. Let's hear how it sounds. Now we also have a makeup gain slider here so we can actually kind of A and B a bit more effectively. Let's just loop a bit where we have the kick playing. So there we've managed, just I'll bypass that, we've managed to bring out the kick there and bring down the bass. So once more. We're really focused on that kick. Okay, let's try in the smooth mode. Let's bypass it. Yeah, I think I prefer it in the smooth mode. Now something we can also do is actually listen to the difference between the unprocessed and processed sound. So that allows us to see what we're adding. 
Now, if you're mastering your own music and you had a problem with the focus of the kick and the bass, I'd say it's a better idea to go back and actually work on massaging those sounds to be better together. But if you're working in other people's music as a mastering engineer or stem mastering, and you had the sounds bounce together in one stem, or in the case of a mastering engineer, you had the stereo premix file, and you had one of these problems, this can be a great way of allowing you to kind of navigate around that problem and still have a great sounding master. But ideally, of course, the best solution is not to have the problem in the first place.